What's going on? What's going on? Let me make sure I'm in the right. Okay. What's up, everybody? Make sure y'all say hello when y'all come in so I know who's in here so I can speak properly. Can y'all hear me? Hi, Ari Love. <laughs> Bay. <laughs> Y'all hit that thumbs up button for me. If y'all don't mind. What's going on? Just wanted to check in with everybody. I don't keep a lot of a lot of people's attention when I'm not doing hair, but um I'll be back in the salon very soon. Um, first, let me tell everybody, um, hi, and I hope that y'all are well, everybody is doing well. Um, hi, Lulu. What's going on? I am hanging in here. It has been a uphill journey, but I am still here. Um, hey, hey, Quanetta, is that you? Listen, I had wrote this whole, man, it's peeling. This whole text message back to you and didn't send it. I'm hanging in here, guys. I'm hanging in here. Um, they are opening up uh, the salons on tomorrow at 5 p.m. So we're able to go back into the salon tomorrow at 5 p.m. Um, I will not be myself and um, Nicole won't be returning until the first week in June um, because I have to um, sort out my schedule. And I know some people was like, well, you, you've had all this time. You should have done this by now. But honestly, um, there was a lot going on in my head as to what I was going to do, how I was going to do it. Um, and when I was going to do it. And shout out to Jeffrey for sending me this ring light because it, it is working in my favor. Like I'm, 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 like, I'm liking this. He sent me a small ring light. And it's, it's dope. But um, so, yeah, I will be returning back to work the first week in June. The first week in June. Miss Barbara, you haven't got your order yet. Got that there sound. Well, with me. Let me hold on, you guys. I'm here. I have to make sure stuff is right. Cornetta guy, hands up. Y'all ready, huh? Miss Miss Barbara, hold on one second. So, Miss Barbara, it is saying that your shipment has arrived at the USPS. Wait, it says it's in transit. Okay, I'm going to have to call him tomorrow because it's telling me that your shipment has arrived. And I sent your shipment off on the 15th. So, I actually paid extra money to ship yours off because I wanted to make sure it was shipped off yours and another lady. Um, so, I will check on that, Miss Barbara, but it says your it says your shipment has arrived at the USPS, which I'm thinking it, it's arrived there, but it hasn't gotten to you yet because it hasn't said delivered. But I sent it on the 15th. Um, I'm hanging in here, you guys. Uh, just an honest moment. This has been a um, emotional roller coaster for me um, as it relates to what I'm going to do and just waiting on the go. 
and we got to go yesterday. Um, I'm still in a place where I feel like we're opening too soon um, or we should have been in phase three is what I feel like as far as um, stylists and barbers and stuff. But I just feel me personally that they didn't want to um, keep extending funds to us to keep us afloat. So they're putting us back to work. And the only reason why I say I feel that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> y'all stick around and talk back to me so y'all can, you know, when I get in my feelings, I come on here so I can talk to y'all. <laughs> um, the only reason why I feel like it's too soon for us is because they made a statement. I've been watching the governor's press conferences and they made a statement on last week um, that we were close contact people and we are. Um, we even teach in beauty school. Other than your doctor, your dentist, um, people that do massages, those of us that are in the cosmetic field, we are close contact people. Like um, hands on, there's no way I cannot touch you to do your hair. Um, there's no way I can't possibly be in your face. And I understand wearing the mask. I understand, you know, the sanitation, um, all of that, which I'm doing my certifications to make sure that I'm straight as far as it relates to, um, you know, being up to code. So um, your boy's been on it, you know, and I've just been reading about things that we need. But, um, yeah, so see, you're saying you, your close friends aren't opening anytime soon. And I feel the same way. I said a week, and then I was thinking maybe two weeks, but I don't know how long I can last without making any money, you know, because retail was doing really good. When I first started selling retail, it was like this, but everybody's gotten everything that they needed, so it slowed down. Um, so I don't know how much longer I can make it, and being that the governor has opened up, of course, you know, the places are going to want their money for um uh, for rent and things of that nature. Um, they are telling us. <sighs> so actually I was waiting on state board, North Carolina state board to send out guidelines, rules and regulations. Well, they referred us back to what the governor said. Okay. Which was wear a mask, wash your hands and, um, apply social distancing. So another reason why I'm not opening up tomorrow is because I have a 500 square foot space. And so within that space, there are two of us that work in there. And I have to go into that space this weekend sometime and sometime next week and try to rearrange things because we have to still yet see if um, we are six feet apart. Now, the shampoo bowls are not six feet apart. I already know that. I do realize that my station and the other young lady station, they have to be about five and some odd feet apart. Um, but I got to make sure of that. I'm going to have to remove one of my dryer, one of my drying, the chairs that they sit in because y'all know my dryers are mounted on the wall. So that means one of my, my dryers in the middle I can't use because I would have to place. Okay, here's the thing. So think about it like this. The dryer that is to me is not six feet away from me. OK. So I couldn't possibly have. Uh, it's just a whole lot of thinking and a whole lot of thought process. So me and my. Um, my um, business. uh administrator and the other young lady, we're going to meet to go and try to work out some things. It's just, um, thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss Barbara. And you have a good night too. And let me know. Um, let me know. Yeah. Like it's just, it's just a lot. And I don't think that people fought hard enough for us for their own vain reasons. Um, here it is with me. Hi, Tanisha. Here it is with me. When they said shut down after I got my last haircut, 
I was not calling my barber. I was not trying to find someone that was doing in-house calls because I'm I I'm not that person. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, so I've um, I have I just haven't done it. I, I didn't do it. But I think for people's own vain reasons, because they just cannot go without getting their hair done. They cannot go without getting their nails done. You know, and I understand these things make you feel better. I really do. I'm in the beauty industry. I understand that. But for the safety of the people that are working on you, you know, and you're right. We have been talking about doing alternate days and alternate hours. This then throws my whole schedule x out. X out. So I'm going to have to send out to my clients and let them know schedules that you had, you know. OK, so my um, how should I say this? Uh, my my um, standing appointments are no longer standing at this moment because I'm going to have to move because y'all know the way that I worked. I would have one person in the chair. Unless you say Cornetta is in here, she knows I have one person in the chair and I got two up under the dryer because they may be short haircuts or somebody's processing with color. Um, it, it, I can't work like that anymore. Like you just can't possibly work like that. People that are within the salon, and again, I have 500 square feet. People that are within the salon have to be six feet apart. You can only have, um, they're telling you, you can only be working on one person at a time. Once you are finished with that person, they have to leave. You are really supposed to shut down and sanitize. Can't find Lysol anywhere. So if you guys, anybody on here are um, uh, couponers and you were buying up Lysol before all of this happened, bless your boy with some Lysol because I can't find any Lysol. And I'm not paying $100 for a bottle of Lysol. I'm just not going to do it. I'm, 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 I, don't, I, I don't have the money to do it. No, I'm not going to do that. But Lysol would be, um, you know, the most strategic thing to do to be able to spray down everything, you know, and keep running and then, you know, sanitize your implements with barbicide and stuff. So I have a bottle of barbicide at the salon. It's a small bottle, but that's hard to come by. So I have a bottle that I haven't used yet. Thank God that I have that there. Um, yeah, $100 for Lysol. Like... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cornetta, because I need them. I need them, Matt Queen. Um, but yeah, anybody that's doing like any that did any um, uh, couponing and you got Lysol wipes or Lysol, I'll buy them from you. I'm just not going to pay $100 for them. I'm not paying. I'm, I need to buy them at, at store value, okay? <laughs> um and this, uh, somebody said to me the other day, they said, um, well, I guess this is the new normal. To me, the world was never normal. There were things going on within this world that were not normal. We haven't been normal for a whole, uh, this is just a, 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 a new way of living because this is not normal. This is not normal. Um, let's get back to what, I, what my thoughts are as far as us opening back up. Um, so they said with, um, uh, last week, um, within Wednesday to Thursday, there was 600 and some odd cases that had been positive. They said this was due to testing. The increase in testing shows the increase in positive numbers. My question is, or my thought pattern is, if you tested 1,500 people, 600 of those were positive. How many people that are out there that have not been tested or not going to get tested that are just still living life as usual, okay? How many asymptomatic people are walking around and they have not seen symptoms, so they're not going to get tested, okay? Um, I really just feel as though and y'all know who work in the beauty industry. Not saying that 
that um, Caucasian people don't work in the beauty industry. That That is not my thing because they do. But y'all know how hard we go in the salon, how many hours we stay in the salon. It's not like an in and out thing. I don't have people coming in there saying shampoo me and I'm going out the door or I'm getting a haircut and don't touch me no more. No, I got to go through steps and hours with you all. Um, so I think we really should have been in phase three. That's just my thought process. Do I think that we should never not open again? No, that's not what I'm saying. But I do think that we should have not been in phase two. I think we should have been in phase three. And I think um, that there still should have been some type of assistance for us because a lot of stylists are going to see a decrease in their income, especially if you work the way that I work. It's not fair for me to charge my client $400 because I have to spend three hours with her. I didn't do it before. Why do it now? Why hike up my prices on my clients? Because I can only have one client in there at the time. I ran my salon like a boom, 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 boom. Y'all know, y'all saw me on the witch collar. I'll be in there. Boom. I'm getting them. I'm going to shampoo a head, put you up under the steamer. Like I'm on it. And most salons do that, you know, and unless you have these salons that are out here, that are, and you have some that charge these people just $300 just for a, 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 a flat iron, you know, unless you have those people out there, we don't, we don't charge that around here. So for me to make the money the way that I was making it, I had to make sure that I could multitask, you know, and my clients were comfortable with that. You know, they were comfortable. If I if you walked in the salon and saw three heads, nine times out of ten, all three of those heads, they were short haircuts. And I knew what I was making in that moment, you know, and I knew what I was doing. You know, and I, I sometimes now yeah, don't get me wrong, I never did everything perfect. And um and and Matt Queen will tell you that. You know, but she has saw the way that I worked and it worked for me and I was able to make my money, which which made it then able for me to be at a stable price that I had women that would be able to be able to come and get their hair done with me every two weeks and not worry about breaking their pocket just to look good. So this has been my whole, whole, whole process, my whole thought process. And I think I'm about to finally break because I just I've been I've been thinking about this. How are we going to efficiently do this? You know, um, which is why I'm not opening up tomorrow, which is why I'm not opening up next week, um, because I really have to. And it hasn't been pro, um, procrastination. I've been doing other things. Y'all know that I've been working on my website, been selling product, um, getting better at selling retail um getting better at just educating you guys um getting you guys ready for the next time that or if and i'm praying to god that we don't but they're saying that we are we go through this again um right um this is this is something and i care about the well-being of I care about myself and I care about my clients and my clients know that they, they know they come, they come first, you know, as it relates to me, when I get sick, I let my clients know, listen, y'all, I'm not feeling well. I think I got a bug. I think I got this. Cause I got a lot of clients. They got kids. I'm not finna be working over them sick. Like I'm not finna bring that to them. I don't even, I don't even go to my barber like that. I let my barber know what you need me to pay. Cause I need to reschedule cause I'm sick. That's just my thought process, because I feel like what you do to people, it will come back on you, you know, and I've always been like that. And I'm not going to jeopardize you or myself. So I just feel like I, I really just feel like this reopening thing. They say that reopening is going to help the economy. Um, but you got some people out here that are just not doing what they're supposed to do. And you guys. um, let me go and read what y'all are saying. Hey, Kimmy Cat. Thank you, Mad Love. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're definitely gonna get through this. I keep praying and I keep asking God, like, 
I need you to give me a sign. I need you to um, keep us covered. Like keep keep us covered. Like we have to be covered. You know, um, there's no doubt in my mind that we won't get through this. But um, and I'm praying that things will get better. I really am. It's just just the just the whole thought process behind it. And y'all know me, I suffer from anxiety and depression and my anxiety has been on a thousand and I've just been a depressed moment because I can't get my anxiety under control. But y'all know I come on here because y'all show me love and y'all y'all help me think my way through things. But um it's been it's been a it's been a journey. This has been a journey. It has been a it's it's been a good thing and it's been a bad thing. Um, it's been a good thing in a way of it pushed those of us that wanted to stay in the industry um, into finding out other ways of income, finding out other ways of reaching people. Um, the bad part about it is it has stressed most of us ineffectively, you know, because they didn't give us any guidelines. They just told us to go back to. I, and I can pull it up. Where's it at? Because I'm, y'all, I've been on it because I got to make sure. <laughs> you hear me? Hold on, y'all. I love you more. This is very tricky. And in, in most states, they're fine, they're doing good. Um, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find this thing. Uh, I see people that are going back to work. I saw some salons that have not opened up and they're waiting about a month before they reopen. I personally won't be able to do that. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much. Oh, y'all, I still have this unit on sale too. If anybody wants to purchase this unit, um, I was going to sell it for $175 because I did custom color it and cut it, but I sell it for um, 150. <laughs> I just It's a lace front unit, this unit here. Y'all see the color? You can see the color better now with um, the ring light. Yeah. Um, she was uh, rolled and um, flat iron, but she just been sitting out. I hadn't done anything to her. Cause... But um, so this is what they sent out. You know, the cosmetic arts, they sent this out and it pretty much just said that we have to have signage up. Got to have signage up saying how many people you can have in your establishment. OK, you got to have signage up saying that. Um, um, we need to do screenings. OK, so I got to I have to purchase a. Um, thermometer, a contactless thermometer, which they have been expensive or the ones that you can buy uh, are on back order. Um, and we should do a questionnaire if they have symptoms. Um, and then we need to isolate them. Actually, that was for the workers. It was talking about the workers. Um, socially distance yourself. Um, And that's pretty much it. It told us to refer back to Executive Order 140. That's what that's that's what it said. Refer back to Executive Order 140. Um. So you guys, I'm stressed. So I got on here. I I need y'all to keep me in your prayers. Um. Keep keep me in your your thoughts and on your mind as we figure this thing out. Um, the right way. I have ordered masks. I've ordered reusable masks for myself. Also with filters. I've ordered, um, I'm going to um, require every client to wear a mask when they come. Um, I did purchase extra honeybee. I'm, I'm trying. I promise I am. I'm trying to take my time, but Time is of the essence because it's they're not giving you any more money. Like, and now that they're doing this, people are like, no, no, no. Okay, we need our money. Um, uh, 
Um, if you if you see them, because I've been checking. Um, I've been checking. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to, and especially for me, I'm an overthinker. Um, and it's just, it's, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Tanisha, thank you so much. Y'all, I don't know what's been going on with YouTube. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know what's been going on with YouTube. I saw a dramatic decrease at the beginning of the year. And I reached out to YouTube and I told them, I said, I am yet streaming or putting up videos every week. They said people are marketers or people that, you know, uh, whatever. Marketing is what pays us as YouTubers. Um, so really at this point, I'm doing it just because I have a following and I love you guys and I'm on here. Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate it. But uh, I went from making a good amount of money <laughs> down to making like less than a hundred. And so you, I don't even get paid unless I reach a uh, hundred, I think it's a hundred dollar threshold. You don't get paid unless you reach a hundred dollar threshold. So last month I didn't get a check at all. Um, and, that, and I know that if people are not marketing, then, you know, and then I'm in that, I'm in the business of doing hair. So people are not really marketing anything with hair because we weren't doing anything. So everything has just been a decrease. So I want to personally thank you all. Those of you that have supported me, um, by purchasing product, um, by purchasing t-shirts. And again, I'm still doing the pre-orders for the t-shirts, um, um, I still have product for sale. I'm actually doing a sale. So if you guys go in and do BOGO 25, you can buy one and get 25% off of the other product. Um, so that's the promo. Uh, thank you, Alicia. Um, and I just thought about that today because um, I do have some product left. Um, so thank you all, those of you that are uh, that have been supporting because uh, it has definitely been it's definitely been a journey. But I am so thankful to God when I tell you I am so thankful to God for keeping me and um, keeping me alive, keeping me safe and well, and I haven't gone lacking, you know. So I am very, very, very thankful to God for that because he has definitely been looking out for me, you know? Yeah. I may be saying all of this other stuff and my concerns and I know, but I know that he's going to continue to look out for me, but he knows his son. And that's what people need to understand that God knows his children. He knows my thoughts. He knows my hearts. He knows the words that are going to come out of my mouth before they come out of them. So he already knows exactly what, and how I feel, you know, and I have faith to get me through it. I cannot say that I'm not scared. And and I and some people say, well, faith and and, and fear don't go together. You you're supposed to have fear over faith. I understand that. I get that. I get that. You know, um, I know he's done it before and I know he'll do it again. Just how he's gonna do it, you know, how he's gonna get me to get through it. It's just, you know, I'm 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 scared that I might get in here and, and blow all the way up, you know. I'm I'm scared of the impossible, you know, but he understands that. He really does. Thank you. Thank you, Cornetta. If you find one, let me know and I'll send you the money. Danny, I do have a cash app. My cash app is And I, I have to say, you guys have been amazing because um, I woke up to somebody that had cashed at me some money this morning. That's my cash app. And again, if you guys are going to purchase products, um, go to you can go to my website um, and use the promo code. Um, 
code. BOGO25 and then, and buy one, get get the other product 25% off. Um, Cause I still have some shampoos and stuff left. Um, I'm going to continue to retail. So don't think just because we're going back to work that I'm going to stop retailing products. So for those of you that can't get to me um, and are not regular clients, I'm going to continue to retail. So you guys know that if there is something that, um, um, Tanisha, I probably hold the um, sale over the weekend because is this Memorial Day weekend? I think next week is Memorial Day weekend. Next week is Memorial Day weekend, so I'll probably do another sale for Memorial Day weekend. Um, and that sale will probably go to the members of the site. So if you're a member of the site, then I'll send that out. But this this sale is for everybody. Because um, I actually have to go and pick up some product tomorrow and hand sanitizer. <laughs> These are all the things that I'm thinking about. Wow, yet and still, I don't know if I told y'all this or if I had the moment to tell y'all. Um, so I had to I had to come out of um, I had to withdraw from seminary school. Um, this weekend is holiday. This weekend is a holiday. Hey Siri, when is huh? Memorial Day weekend? Just a sec. Not saying that you don't know, Kimmy Cat. I'm just. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know when that is. Uh, when is Memorial Day weekend? Memorial Day is tomorrow. Oh. Well, that, <laughs> sorry, Kimmy Cat. I'm, I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm so confused. Okay, so, uh, well, I guess I'll run another one next week, Tanisha. So, I... I <laughs> That the Bogo Twenty Five is the more, more the Memorial Day weekend, <laughs> the Memorial Day weekend sale. So um, yeah, because I just decided to do it. Um, so Bogo Twenty Five, if you go and purchase, um, if you go and purchase uh, any product, but yeah, um, so I had to withdraw from um, seminary school because as of right now, I don't have enough money to go. Um, I was telling somebody the other day, I said, I wake up to something new every day, every day. Okay. And I said, maybe that was a blessing in disguise. I was like, okay. So I'm back at, um, back at, um, plan A. Okay. Plan A is for me to go to community college and get my associates of applied science in cosmetology. Um, Oh yeah, Tanisha, I have serums. I have a um S3 serum. So I do have I do have some serums. I think I do. Hi Brandon Larry. How are you? I think you are new to my room. I've never seen your name before. Hey Nitris. Um, so that is my plan. And as of right now, okay, so this this is what I'm telling y'all. And and I'm telling y'all all of this. Because the word says you are overcome by the word of your testimony. And so I know that by sharing this with you all, I'm going to get through it. Um, so I was telling somebody, I was like, I wake up to something new every day. Not that I want to wake up to, you know, if I want to wake up to something new, I want to wake up to something that's just like mind blowing. That's great. Okay. I'm trying to be very specific in this season as to what comes out of my mouth. Okay. So got my residency for North Carolina. Okay. To be in state for have in, to have in state tuition. Well, they wanted me to submit documentation and I submitted the documentation. They came back within 24 hours <laughs> And said that I was not a resident of North Carolina. Y'all, and this is for me trying to get into the community college because it's much cheaper to be an um, in-state resident and do the class. I have been in Charlotte for three years. 
since 2017. July the 3rd, 2017 is when we moved here. And I moved literally 10 minutes up the road. Because I don't have a North Carolina driver's license. I didn't change my insurance and stuff over because it's cheaper in South Carolina. <laughs> but I got a whole live business, a whole live business right up the road in Pineville, North Carolina, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. I work here. My cosmetology license is here. My cosmetology teacher's license is here. <laughs> so I have to get up tomorrow and go and see if I can get a North Carolina ID. So I've been pr printing out tax papers and <laughs> and y'all, I just paid like twenty something dollars for the real ID back on my birthday. Cheryl, I like that idea. If you could send that to me on my Instagram and give me a little bit more insight as in how to do that. Because right now, me trying to think, I like that idea, but me trying to think my way through it to, to actually get it done, I can't think about it right now. Nietzsche's, they getting their money. That's the thing. The state is getting their money. I filed North Carolina taxes. What does this say? I can't give y'all. I could give y'all my social because you can't do nothing. What that say? North Carolina Department of Revenue. Where my name at? Christopher P. They get their money. Love you, Beverly. Live right here. I live right here in Charlotte. I've been here for three years. I just don't have a, a, a Charlotte license. <laughs> I pay taxes to North Carolina. I have North Carolina health insurance. Which is super expensive. That's home address. That's not mailing address. That 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 that's home address and mailing address. <laughs> it's 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 just it's been a lot. But however, I'm getting up in the morning and I have an appointment at the DMV to go and get a uh I'm gonna try to get a North Carolina ID. They said I could get a North Carolina ID and see if that works. And I had to submit that that documentation there that I just showed y'all, the D-400. So to try to prove my residency here. I live here. <laughs> yes, the new ID has a star on it because I, I have the new ID for, for, for South Carolina. Um, um, so the new ID has a star on it. <clears throat> I guess I might need to just try to get that R2. Huh? Yeah, go ahead and do it and get it out the way. Because... Um, yeah, they want you. Oh, let me let me take some mail. Okay. Make sure I take some mail with me. Boom, here we go. All right, Nitris, I love you. Um, my Instagram name is so stylistic dot hair 
Yeah, so stylistic, not hair. I shall, I will. Yeah, so stylistic, not hair is my Instagram name. Good night. Yeah, it's crazy, Lulu, the things that they put you through. It's absolutely crazy. But on a lighter note, we're going to get through this. We're going to make a way. If you guys come up with any ideas or anything, please, mm, my lips are dry. Um, please send them to me. Hi, Lady Evie from New Zealand. Welcome. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, y'all go over to the website, BeSoStylistic.com um, and purchase your and use promo code BOGO25 and you'll buy your first item and get the next one 25% off. So I still have shampoos and conditioners and styling products that I use as well um, left. And I will be doing a shipment on tomorrow. So I'll be shipping out um, tomorrow. So if you need something, if you need something, um, go ahead. If you need it and want it shipped out tomorrow, so you'll have it next week. Go ahead and place your order tonight. That way I can get it um, packaged up and shipped out to you. Um, yeah. Yeah, all those good things. All those great things. Um, this young lady here. Y'all, she not style. Oh, I should have combed her did something. She not style, but... Um, this young lady here is 24 inches. Her curls have failed. Her waves even failed. I didn't even roll her back up. Um, but I colored her. I just gave her nice little color in the front. Um, see if y'all can see the color there. You see a color I gave here in the front. Do I ship to New Zealand? I have never shipped out of the country, but I am pretty sure that I can. The shipping on that, I'm not how much. I'm not sure how much it would cost, but um, I'm pretty sure I can ship out of country. Pretty sure that I can. Definitely sure I can do that. So, um. If you guys would like to uh, purchase her, she's a full lace front wig. I just got the lace pool. Um, here's the lace. Here, full lace front wig. Um, come on through international money. Ain't that it, Ari Love? <laughs> Cheryl says it's expensive. Quintisha. Now, Jeffy, you can't be get Quintisha, really. <laughs> Quintisha. But I'm thinking about selling her. I'm thinking about selling her. I did not make her. This is not a unit that I made. Um, you guys know I have been saying that I do want to get into wig making because of my mother um, who, has, who passed away. Um, she used to wear wigs. Um, and so I want to get into wig making for that reason alone. Um, but I have not started to make units yet. This was a unit that was, um, that was sponsored by you nice wigs. Um, and it's 24, 24 inches. Um, it's actually, um, a deep wave when it's wet. Um, and what I did was went in and just went and put some color around her, um, bang area. You see the color there? Just wanted to lighten it up around the front and gave her a couple layers in the front and in the top. Um, I didn't do too much cutting into it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put her. She's for sale. She's for sale. 
you know, she's for sale. She's great. Um, she's just been straight now for about uh, two weeks. Yeah, I think I did this about two, two, yeah, two weeks ago. Um, Sasha sounds better. Ashley names her Tina, and I don't know why I named her Tina, but I named her Tina. <laughs> um, I'm wearing this um, wig. I, I had her on. Oh, God. You guys are going to laugh at me. If y'all go follow my TikTok, <laughs> I put her on and... Um, I'm thrilled to announce that Nickelodeon and Time for Kids are teaming... I'm sorry, y'all. I wore her in this video here. Is it going to show? Are you going to show? Are you... Oh, you really want to show? Don't you hate that when you're trying to show somebody... <laughs> I, I had her on in this week. Miss <laughs> Paige, Shane, now I told you he is very sensitive about his hair. So this is that wig. This is Tina. Look like Woodstock on a little peroxide crazy. Oh, well, you just seem to have a problem with it last night when you was running your fingers through a sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't touch you. So I want to show y'all the rest. Y'all got to go on TikTok and find me. And I'm stylistic. Um, so stylistic is my name on TikTok. So stylistic is my name on TikTok. <laughs> Y'all have to go find me on TikTok. Um, I need to really upload. I'll probably do some TikToks tomorrow once I get settled in from my errands and stuff on tomorrow. But y'all go follow me, So Stylistic on TikTok. And I had Tina on and I had um just taken um her flexi rods out because I had flexi rodded her the night before. <laughs> I was doing the uh, scene from um, Low Down Dirty Shame um, um, when Witch Collar was in the kitchen cooking and he was like, Miss Peaches. <laughs> I had to do it. So I, I did it. So uh, Tina is the wig that I have on in that video. And so, again, like I said, if you guys want to uh, purchase uh, Miss Tina, um, inbox me. Um, I had her um, set for 175 but we'll do 150 I mean, because I did color her and cut her. So she's been uh, stylistically touched, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, y'all go follow me on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. Um, stylist, so stylistic on TikTok. I'm so stylistic on TikTok. And y'all, um, Kiki Wyatt retweeted, um, not, not retweeted, she liked one of my videos on um, Instagram. So that's up there. Um, I did a uh, picking at her. Well, not, and y'all know I, I love Kiki Wyatt. I personally think she's one of um, the most slept on singers ever. Um, but I did a video of her when she was doing that run over and over and over again. Y'all gotta go check, check my, check my TikTok out. Make sure y'all, um, follow and, um, let's see. And somebody, da Danny Bobby, did I see a, a order come through? Come on through order. Order up. <laughs> Yes. All right, Daniel. Um, Danielle, I got you. I'm about to print your stuff out right now and get your pack. Y'all, I'm, I'm sending out shipments tomorrow. So go ahead and get your um get your orders in now. I'm sending them out now. Well, not not tonight, but y'all know what I mean. I'm sending them out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hold on, you guys. Corrections. Um, this yes. Let me see what y'all are saying because I went to another screen and I don't know what it does. Come on, Dan Danny, Bobby. You forget to put in the bogos. And I don't even... <laughs> don't forget the BOGO, y'all. BOGO 25. BOGO 25, okay? BOGO 25 for the Memorial Day 
Memorial Day weekend sale, BOGO 25. Thank you, Danny. I'm I'm about to print out your um uh, I'm about to print out your order form and get your order ready, 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 ready. There it is. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know whether it's moving slow. I really do appreciate the support, you guys. Y'all don't understand. It means the world to me. It really does. It means the world to me. If you have any questions about products or uh, you may not know of something that you want to order, um, I'm here. That's what I'm here for. And this is your order. <laughs> Sharina say, can I use my... Oh, so you're trying to get over. Sharina say, can I use my 10%? Yes, you can. I think you can. I don't know. That's a good question. Try it, Sharina. Because I forgot. Um, when, whenever um, I, sh and I know at the beginning, y'all, I thought about this after I did my first shipments. Okay, so y'all, please forgive me if you ordered something with me when I first started. Again, all of that was new to me. Shipping out everything, all of that was new to me. Um, that was really, really new. So what I started doing is when I sent out a shipment now, I sent out a thank you card. And the thank you card has a product code on it, um, the thank you 10. Okay. Yes, yes. So I, I just thought about that, Sharina. So thank you. Hey, Naya. Anagato says I'm natural with with dry and brittle hair. Hold before. Okay, so you're natural with dry and brittle hair. So what I would say to you is, I use influence products. Hold that thought. And um, Danny Bobby, I just got your order. Um, so y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all what Danny ordered. She ordered the moisture shampoo. Moisture conditioner and the thermal seal, you guys. So she really got some good products. All of these products are really, really great, but she got a moisture um, combo. So we know whose hair gonna be moisturized and popping um, before the end of the month. Hold it, hold it, hold it. So, Anagato, I really hope I'm saying that right. God knows I hope I'm saying that right. Sharina, try it. Try it and see um, if, um, if you can use it. Um, and let me know. Like go, like like go as if you're purchasing something, um, and go to the promo codes and see if it'll let you use it because I would like to know that because I I, I don't know and if you can use it then by all means do that, do that definitely. So um oh so I said it Anagata hey I'm pretty good at pronouncing names hi Ashley. I'm located in Charlotte, North Carolina. I am in Charlotte, North Carolina. So two things that I would recommend for dry and brittle hair. Share. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Thank you. See, I be getting on one thing, but y'all just turn around and do another one. And y'all are so awesome. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really, really, really thank you. And y'all know I'm a big crybaby and I cry. I, we were in um, foundational class and they were talking about weeping and wailing women <laughs> in the Bible. I said, well, what's wrong with me? Because I'm a weeping and wailing man. And I'm I, is it something wrong with me? And one of the ministers was like, it is nothing wrong with you. It is okay for you to cry. I will cry. I thankfully cry. <laughs> and I will cry out to God. You hear me? In the midst of a storm, I will cry. 
Naya, I hope you're feeling better. I'm glad that you didn't have the Rona. Yes. If it's something on the website that it says that I'm sold out of, please let me know tonight so I can have that stuff tomorrow. But let me get to Anagato. Cheryl, again, thank you so much. I pray blessings and prosperity over your house. Thank you for believing in me and 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 sowing into me. I really, really do appreciate that so much. Thank you. Um, so I want to talk about these real quick. So um, I always recommend the Moisture Lock, which is the moisturizer from Influence. Um, this right here, I cannot keep in stock as it relates to my clients that I see on a regular. And you guys have been purchasing this. Um, if there's anybody in here, and I think somebody said it earlier, if you've purchased products from me, you can just leave in the comments what you think about the products, because I really want um, you guys to... Um, to let me know what you think about it. But if you are suffering from dry, brittle hair and you are um, natural, I would go with the um, uh, honey and almond conditioner and shampoo. Um, we also have the coconut um, conditioner and shampoo. Um, yeah, I think I got some. I think I got one set left. I think I have one set left. Ashley, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, but I would suggest this package, especially for dry and brittle hair. Um, the honey is going to give you the moisture that you need. The almond is going to give you the protein that you're, um, you may be um, uh, lacking. Um, so I would suggest this package here. And with the sale that I have going on right now, it's really good because um, our It's Natural line is a little bit more expensive than the Black Label line. Um, only reason being is because they really try to stick true. And when I say they try to stick true to their product and the ingredients that they put into it, they really do that. And that's one thing that I love about this company. Um, when they say they're putting honey in it and they say they're putting almond extract in it, they're putting those things in it. And so um, I would suggest this or our coconut line. So Anagato, if that, I hope that works for you. And Sharina says it and the, and the, and the moisture products work as well. Um, if you're on a budget and you can't quite Purchase that. I'm glad Sharina said that. We have the moisture shampoo and moisture conditioner. Um, they work really, really, really great as well. They work really great. I have to say um, one thing about this line that I love about them, and I said this in previous um, videos of mine, and I continue to say this, they produce um, color, which is what I use to color Tina, Tina with the, the, the wig. Um, they produce color, and when um, Companies, especially um, product companies, go into making color and they make it in a safe way, which they put macadamia oil in their color. They don't put ammonia in it, um, which ammonia can be drying. That lets me know at that moment that they are concerned about your hair being brittle, being dry, being um, uh, depleted from moisture. Um, um, just by the way that they have constructed their color line. And so with this um, particular product line, I love it because it gives us everything that we need, especially if you're wearing your hair natural. I have Caucasian clients that purchase this stuff as well, and they love it. They love it. One of my, Cauca my Caucasian clients, she purchases it, purchase uh, about $100 worth of product from me um, on a regular. That's shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, and styling products. And she absolutely loves it because this is not just an ethnic product line. It is a product line for all ethnicities. So if you are depleted in that area, um, then yeah, I would definitely go with that combo and you would want to get a leave-in. Um, and I'm not sure. I think I have some leave-ins left. Um, Naya, could you do the hunt? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I saw your pictures. 
So the honey and almond moisture said, yeah, you could absolutely, absolutely do this. Yeah, absolutely do this. If you have more, if you know that your hair is dry and brittle, and if I'm not mistaken, I think, Naya, you're color treated. Um, and again, like I said, all of the products now, but the, the products, the it's natural products, they have no sulfates and no parabens in them. So you have to think about that. Now, the other, the other, the black label line, you're going to get a little sulfates in them, just a little bit. But they still put, they derive natural ingredients in them, like shea butter. Um, so you're still getting the win-win. But if you're looking for something that's not going to strip your hair, and none of these products do, um, but if you're really looking for something that doesn't have sulfates and parabens in them, um, the it's natural line, which is again, why it's a little pricey, um, works. Um, and it tells you it preserves your color. Um, it's quick and penetrating. Um, it's enriched with coconut oil and it's sulfate free, um, as well as, um, our moisture lot, which is absolutely amazing. How much, I'm sorry, I missed the prices. Oh, so I didn't really say the prices. I believe that the shampoo and conditioner are about the same price. One say one is eighteen, and the other one is nineteen. I know conditioner is always more than shampoo, but I can't remember off the top of my head how much they are on my site. Then the thing that I have to say about this is, if you can go to other websites, now this is coming straight from the influence factory. I go to my influence. Um, distributor and I pick my product up um, every week, if not every week, every other week. Okay. So I pick my product up from him. This is the same product that you will see on the influence website. The only difference is, and this is what I love about their company. They push the stylists that use the products to push retail. Okay. And push it in the way that you can sell it. And so now what I have to say is when you go on the influence website, you're going to pay influence prices. The thing about the difference is between me and influence because I'm sell, I've am i purchased my product and I'm selling it. I like to do sales and discounts and things of that nature to make it affordable to you guys. Um, so yeah. So um, with this BOGO, buy one, get one 25% off. It's a win-win. You got it. So it's your time to do it. This is the Memorial Day weekend sale. Um, how do I make a purchase? Paula says, so Paula, if you want to make a purchase, you can go to, um, I'm going to put it up here. Be so stylistic. Um, uh, be so stylistic.com. And I want to say for its last shop. Then you can use the promo code that I'm giving out to you. And you guys got this product pro, ugh, promo code before anybody. Like my my YouTube family, I always because y'all 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 my peeps. Make sure you sign up and become a member. Um, when you do go to the website, because I do send out things. Cheryl, thank you so much. You have a good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good night. I love you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you again soon. Make sure you come back whenever you see me online. Make sure you hit that ring of notification so you know every time I go live or upload a video. So I'll start to upload videos soon. Yes, use promo code BOGO25 and get 25% off. So you buy one and get 25% off the next item. Yes, all right, Sharina, be safe. Wait. I'm 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 trying to figure out. I see y'all logging in. Make sure y'all sign up to become a member. Now I know that there's a difference between joining the mailing list and becoming a member. So make sure you go to the members tab and become a member, and it's totally free. But that will allow you member access to certain things, especially when I get on and popping and get it back on and popping again. Y'all see me wearing my t-shirt. Also, this t-shirt that I have on is on my website for pre-order, okay? Some of you have already ordered,
but I have not shipped the um, orders off yet because um, I am waiting on things to get made. Um, so you can pre-order this T-shirt. Y'all see that? Ah, the bling. When I tell y'all my T-shirt lady rock this out this time, she was like, I don't know if you're going to like glitter. I was like, yes, I do. I like glitter. Oh, it's BOGO 25. I love glitter. I like pop. So you can also purchase this T-shirt as well. It is on my website. BOGO 25 for the product. Yes. But I'm doing pre-orders and I want to get them out. I'm almost there, you guys. So these are all the pre-orders that I have now. I'm trying to get to 10. Once I get to 10, it's over and done with. You hear me? I'm sending them off. I'm getting them made and sending them off. She's just waiting on me. So go ahead and order your um uh, your t-shirt. Hey. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it has hashtag um so stylistic on the back. That this one doesn't. This was the one that she made right before then. And then I had her put a hashtag on the back. But yeah, uh, and these are my favorite colors, you guys. Yeah, purple is my favorite color. Purple is my favorite color. But when she did this t-shirt, I was like, yes. And I mean, hey, it is popping on here. I might have this back on again tomorrow. <laughs> but yes. So um, let me see what else I had up here. Those items and what about something for a twist out? Okay, Naya, my bad. I'm sorry. Let me get back to you. Um, Ms. Lou, you say you need a, a larger t-shirt than the size that, that's mentioned. Um, I can do that. That can be done. I do think that once they go past 1X, I think think they're a little bit more. I think they're a little bit more. Um, Miss Lulu, what you can do is um, text me at this number. You can text me at that number. You can tell me what size you need and I can find out how much more it is. Cause I think once they go past one X, I think they're a little bit more, not that much more, but I think they're a little bit more. And then whatever size you need, um, you can cash out, cash out the money to me and then send me your, uh, your info. And I can, um, I can ship it to you that way as well too, through cash app. You can cash app it to me or zail it to me. As long as I have your, e um, your first and last name and all that good stuff. So yeah. <laughs> Miss Lulu said big girls know they gotta pay. <laughs> Listen, I love me a love me a healthy woman. You hear me? I call you healthy. I don't say you be you're healthy. Doctor might not say you're healthy because you know how they love to just want you to be a hundred and a hundred pounds flat. 102 wet. Okay. I call you healthy. <laughs> but yeah, just text me at that number, Miss Lulu. Um, that's my work number. And then um, let me know what size you need. And I will definitely um, find that out for you. I will find that out for you. And um, I can get that done. And I will put you on that. I ain't, but come on here, bones supposed to be buried and not resurrected. Come on here. Because <laughs> I showed them picked up. I know I go to the doctor. When I go back to the doctor, they're going to be like, you know, I picked up your weight. Yeah. It's quarantine weight. Okay. Quarantine weight. Quarantine weight. All right. Um, so, Naya, I'm sorry. I don't know if you're still here. Are you still here? Um, I am out of curl defining cream, which would be really good for your um, twist outs. Um, what I like to do if you go back, I don't know if you have been here, but I like to use the honey and almond foam, the curl defining cream and mix those two together for a twist out and even the, um, organic gel, which I think is out. I think it's out, but if you want to get that, like I said, I'll see him tomorrow and I actually need to go ahead and put an order in. Yes, Anagato. 
Come on through, come on through for becoming a member. I appreciate it. Let me see, did I get another order? And Miss Lulu, I got your, I got your size. I'm gonna reach out um, to my t-shirt maker and I'm gonna find out. Because I don't know if I told you guys this, as of right now, because I am still building my brand. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, I thought I had another order. Um, because I am still building. Hi, from Brazil. Hi, Andre Santos. What's going on? Um, because I'm still building my brand, I'm really not selling the shirts for what I should be, which is like, you know, to make a profit off of it. Um, simply because I want to get my brand out there. I want when people walk up to you to say, what does your shirt say? Or they read it and it goes so stylistic and you're just like, where'd you get that shirt from? So I'm really still building my brand. Um, so the shirts are not like, I know in the future they probably will go up because I'm really not making a profit off of it right now. I just really want to push my brand and get it out there. Like I'm just trying to bam, bam, get it out there, get it out there. You know, I want, I want so stylistic to be in the mouths of babes. You hear me? And when I come to your city, they already know what I'm there for when they see this t-shirt come through the, through the um, airport. <laughs> What's up? So, Renee says, sup from, is that Washington State? Did I say that right? Is that right? <laughs> what is the S3 serum? Hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. All right. <laughs> All right, Renee. So the S3 serum, the S3 serum is a lightweight, oil-free serum. Okay. Um, it smooths, it shines, it helps with UV UV protection. Now, one of my main reasons for using this is I use this on um silk presses um a lot in the salon when I'm doing silk outs. Um this is really, really good. It's really good for flyaways. Um, it gives the hair a little bit more shine, a little bit more. Um... Yeah, I don't want to open it because I may have to ship it. Um, but it just really gives your hair more shine. It smooths. Um, somebody asked me the other day, it was like, Chris, I flat out my hair and I have a lot of flyaways. This is really, really good to use. Um, and it does not weigh down the hair. Now, I will tell you. That you have to use everything in moderation. And you want to make sure that you use everything in moderation. Because I can tell somebody, and y'all know how people get. You can tell somebody, it won't weigh your hair down. And they'll just go and just squeeze a whole bunch in their hand and rub it. And then do this right here. And the hair, everything in moderation. That, that goes for every product. So, And you also want to make sure you read the manufacturer's instructions. And I always tell people to do that. All right, Lake Charles, Louisiana in the house. Oh, North Florida in the house. Yo, I got everybody in the house. If everything goes as planned and goes, you know, somewhat back to the state of where we can do things again, I will be in Orlando, Florida for the, I'm not working the show. I really wish I was. And I pray that you know, one day I will be again. I have worked the show before, but um, I will be in um, Orlando, Florida for the premiere show, the premiere hair show. So I'll be in Orlando. So I don't know if any stylists will be there, uh, but I'll be in Orlando for the premiere hair show in August. They moved it to the end of August um, because of what's going on right now. So if everything goes well, I did see that they canceled Bronner Brothers, so I don't know if they're going. Right now, they haven't canceled the premiere show in Orlando, but we'll see. So, Elite Hair Care USA is there. 
You got to tell me about that. Is that Sandy, is that where you work? Oh, tell me about that. But yes, so this is a serum that I use. And if you go, oh, that's what's up. Well, then you'll know. I You'll know the dates that I'll be there. I'll be there from that Saturday to that Tuesday. Keep that in mind. And the number is if you scroll up. So that way, because I have both of my phones on me. Um, yes, Crystal. Crystal. I feel like I took that class before. In Tallahassee. You guys will be at the show. Sandy, text me. <laughs> text me, Sandy. I need to find out more. But yes, so um, if you go on a lot of my videos, you'll see me use this, this um, serum here and a lot of my silk press videos. OK, there's only one other um, oil or serum that I, I, I use. And it's not it's not really a serum. It's an oil. Um, it's a bonding oil um, by Olaplex that hadn't been too long come out. Um, but this is what I use the most in the salon, the S3 serum. So, Renee, I hope that answered your question. If it didn't, please let me know. So I want to make sure I answered that question for you. But this is what I use a lot of my silk presses for. Flyaways, a little bit of extra shine, um, and a little bit of extra moisture to the hair. Are there any other, uh, any other questions? Oh, God, I can't talk. Yes, yeah, so we got Ashley. That has visited the site. Y'all becoming members and subscribing. I, that's what I'm talking about. Come through. Subscribe. Make sure you become a member. Make sure you become a member. Okay? I need y'all to become a member. We also have the S3 spray. Okay? Um, it's an oil-free spray. Um it's really good. I use that as well. Uh, I think two videos ago, I talk about um, uh, the products in a more in-depth um, way. I think it's How's Your Hair Part 2. And it may even be How's Your Hair Part 1, but I think it's Part 2. You'll see me with shampoos and conditioners and the Ultimate Silk, pa silk Press Package. Okay? Um, the ultimate silk press package. And in that, I, I talk about the S3 serum and the S3 spray and how I use them when I'm doing a silk press. So um, if you go to that video, I, I could. I know you're like, you could go through it right now, but. And then maybe you're not. <laughs> I don't know. I just know it's in one of those videos and in, in one of those in, in the live that I've recently done. Not the last one. I think the last one I talked about um, the wig over here. Um, so again, she's for sale. If you want to buy her, she's 150. Um, you can um, text me because I put my text up. Um, Ashley Estrie says, can I ask a question? How long do you have to wait after applying a relaxer? I have to wait because you have box braids in. Um, so I always tell my clients to wait at least two weeks some or, or a week, um, depending on, um, let's say you take your box brace out today, which is Thursday. Um, next week, towards the end of the week, I would say would be good because then you probably would ch um, stand the chance of not burning or being irritated from the relaxer. You want to make sure that you base well as, as well. And, and you also want to make sure that you get rid of that shedded hair. Depending how long you have been in those box braids, if you've been in those box braids for three months, that's three months of hair that has shedded. Okay. And textbook um, says if they have not changed it, that we shed 75 to 100 strands a day. That's a lot of hair that has shedded. So you want to make sure that you get those box braids out and you go through and comb your hair comb it and get all of that shedded hair out. When people 
when they do that, sometimes they go, oh my God, I've lost a lot of hair. But you have to think that your hair sheds every day, 75 to 100 strands a day. Um, so I would say a week, if not two weeks, and you want to base really, really well. So if you're going to a stylist, um, I tell my clients when they're coming out of braids or they're coming out of a weave right before they come to me, I want them to go through and kind of grease their scalp with some petroleum jelly. OK, um, and then they come to me and I base them even more because my whole thing is I don't want you to be irritated from the relaxer because I don't want you to know they're going, oh, my God, I'm burning. And we just two minutes into getting it into your head. You know, and it ain't even really working yet. And depending on how people work, some people apply scalp, relax it straight to the scalp. Everybody doesn't watch what they're doing. You know, you, there's a certain way that you're supposed to apply relax it to the scalp, but everybody doesn't. So you want to make sure that you base well, and then you want to make sure that um, whatever stylist that you go to bases um, your hair as well and let them know that you have come out of box braids. Please let them know that. I just came out of box braids a week ago. I just came out of box braids two weeks ago because they then a lot of times I'm telling you what Chris does. OK, what so stylistic does in the salon. If you came to me and you put came out of your box braids, let's say you took them out today and your appointment was Saturday and you came to me. I'm going to tell you that we're going to wait on doing your relaxer. We're going to get we're going to give you a good shampoo treatment. I'm probably going to give you a protein treatment because I want to build that hair up because you've been away um, and it's been depleted from moisture unless you've been going through moisturizing your braids, which many of people don't um, the proper way. But we're going to go through, give you a good moisture treatment, good protein treatment, build that hair up. And then in two weeks, we'll give you your relaxer. That's what I do. And it has always worked for me. Some people may do something differently, but that's what works for me. And I hope that helped you out, Miss Ashley Estridge. I just got all these subscribers. Just got all these subscribers, Lord. Look at, look at God. Wait a minute, hold on. I got another. Well, come on through, Renee. Miss Renee got her S3. Come on through in Grove Creek. Come on here and look at, come on here. Well, I got your S3 spray. Wait a minute, hold on. I got your S3 serum in my hand. <laughs> and yes, she used, you use, yes. Okay. See the discount. Yes. Love it. Love it. Yes. So make sure y'all go in and get these products and I am going to be shipping out tomorrow. Um. So let me see. Let me make sure I don't leave out any other questions. If y'all have any questions, make sure y'all ask me. So it's 1042. I'm going to end this live at, at probably around 11. Um, probably around 11 o'clock. I'm going to end this live. They <laughs> say so you're loving me. I love you back. So I'm probably going to end this live around 11. So if you have any, any um, questions, please, please ask me. So let's see. Um, Sandy Payne says, wrapping hair nightly, is this good? Um, I do this just to put, um, I do this just to put my hair in a donut each day. So I tell my clients to wrap nightly. Um, Honey B, I see that and I'm a, I don't go nowhere. I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to get to Sandy real quick. Um, I tell my clients to wrap their hair nightly. First of all, if you're wrapping it properly, um, which I always tell my clients to use a paddle brush and then use a boar bristle brush to um, smooth the wrap out. And if you go and look at any of my videos where I'm doing a silk wrap, you'll see the two brushes that I use. There's always two brushes that I use when I wrap hair. If you use that first, first brush, um, properly and you're feeling the bristles on your scalp, this does something. And somebody says, okay, Chris, what does it do? It stimulates your scalp. It stimulates your scalp, um, which promotes growth. Um, it also helps to, um, let me, let me, um, find the right word. 
um, train your hair. There we go. Um, it helps you to train your hair. OK, I had a client that did not know how to properly um, wrap her hair and she had breakage issues in the middle because she wasn't properly um, training it and she wasn't properly wrapping it. Um, and she would always say, I always have these problems with my hair breaking. And, the, and if you go on my website and you look on my review page, which if any of you have purchased products and you've used them, please go leave a review. Please, 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 please. By all means, please, please, please. Or if you've just been educated by anything that I've said, please go leave a review. I would love that. Love, love, love it. Uh, doesn't cost you a dime. But um, I showed her the proper way, gave her or, or uh, told her what proper tools to use because she was using the wrong brush. Um, you should be using a paddle brush that has balls on the end of them. OK, um, a nice size ball. Sometimes you can buy the bamboo paddle brushes. Um, um, but you I like Olivia Garden um, paddle brushes. Um, and y'all, when I really get to making a whole lot of money, I'm going to purchase this stuff in bulk and put it on my website. OK. Um, and so. Sharina, I see your. um Somebody said I was sold out of shampoo. Okay. I think you and Sharina are talking about the same. Is, are y'all talking about the same shampoo? If so, let me know. And I will have some tomorrow. I'll order some tomorrow. Because I, I, I have to do my um, order list tonight. I should have some tomorrow. Um. So I would suggest that you continue to wrap your hair if you are um oh honey bee i have forgot you i would suggest that you continue to wrap your hair because it, it does train your hair i tell people like this when you um let's say you have a son a husband nephew cousin and it's a guy and they got waves the thing that um you're taught to do when you want to get waves is that you apply product and you brush 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 and you tie it down you're doing this because you're training your hair to do something that it does not normally do. OK, so wrapping promotes growth, helps with manageability and it trains the hair. OK, it trains the hair which way you want it to fall. Um, so if you are wrapping your hair one way all the time, that's pretty much how it's going to fall all the time. If you're a person that wants versatility, wrap back and forth, wrap one way this week one way the next week okay um so it does quite a uh, um quite a few things for the hair that are good for the hair so again like i said you want your um training the hair for manageability and you're also um promoting growth you're stimulating your scalp because you're brushing it okay the natural growth cream is out of stock too oh my god y'all just buy them everything y'all just buy them everything honey Bye, bye, bye. So I can buy some more. I will buy some more. Okay, let me write this down. Let me let me let me get a pen. Let me get a pen. Pen, pen, pen. Okay. Hold on. And I ain't forgot about you, um, uh, honey love B. Wait, honey love, did you because you said where, where did I learn how to do hair? Um, so let me let me <laughs> you say, oh, I see thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get so caught up in the teaching. I went to Empire Beauty School in um, in the year of 2010, and I graduated in 2011. And then after that, I went off to um, um, Anagato. I have no idea. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Try. I mean, try. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, put me on the out of buy app. Send that to me on um, Instagram. In store and online. I don't know. Try it. If you can get money back... Oh, at this point, at this point in time, we all trying to do stuff to survive. If you can share code for somebody to purchase something on my website for you to get some money back, go for it. I'm all for it.
But yes, um, Honey Love B, I went to Empire Beauty School, graduated in 2011, and then I was awarded a scholarship to go and then get my teaching license also from Empire Beauty School, which was absolutely amazing. One of my educators and one of my academic um, directors um, sought me out and said that they thought that I would be a great educator. And leading and teaching has always been a passion of mine. And so um, I went through that program in 2013. I finished that in 2014. And then I started teaching at Empire Beauty School. And then I also started teaching for a product company, um, Rooker Roots, which is a local company here. But they have gone um, nationally in stores. And um, I was one of their educators for a while. Um, so education is a big part of who I am. Um, I love educating my clients and I love to stay educated and stay up to date on what's going on. So honeybee, I so apologize and I hope that answered um, all of your questions. And I continue to get my get my learn on. I got to for the people. Had to. You got to work hard in this industry. I always and I used to tell my um, students and I just tell um, I tell stylists in general um, that I come in contact with that you have to constantly work hard at this if you want it to be um, your career. And you have to. I tell my I used to. Tell my students, if you're not passionate about this and you can't find a passion in it, you won't last. You won't last because, um, number one, there's a lot of money to be made, but that does not mean that you're going to make all of the money and that you will make the money. You have to have a passion and a zeal to be in the cosmetic arts industry because there's so many different trends. Things are constantly changing. People are changing. You know, you guys know just as well as I do when we went from everybody going from relaxers to being natural, that put a lot of clients, not a lot of clients, a lot of stylists in a space of, oh, what am I going to do? Because I don't do natural hair. I don't know the first thing at doing it. And you had a lot of stylists that um, push clients away because they weren't doing natural hair. You still have some clients that don't do natural hair, certain things to natural hair. You know, you have a lot of more stylists like myself that do more silk presses and you have the working woman that has natural hair but wants to wear the hair straight. Um, so you, you, you have that. But um, you have to have a zeal and a passion to be in this industry. Let's just talk about right now. Let's talk about what's going on in the world. If you are a stylist in the United States of America right now or anywhere that went on lockdown and went into the restrictions that we went into, you had to have a passion and a zeal to continue to keep doing what you're doing. You, you know, you had to try to find something that you love. I know with me, and again, I, I, I'm big on my faith and I'm big on my beliefs. Um, and we're overcome by the word of our testimony. My testimony is that I had to find something that kept me rooted and grounded in the work that I love. And because I love my clients, I love teaching. You guys have been something that had that has kept me rooted and grounded. Just like tonight, that that just gives me confirmation even the more. You always need to find things to confirm while you're in it. Sometimes you're gonna go through periods um, within, and I don't know who I'm talking to right now because I don't know why I went into this field, but this is for somebody. And hello, um, hey Cynthia. You have to find something to keep you rooted and grounded and something that's going to keep pushing you, that's going to keep you passionate about a thing. Because if you don't, you'll burn out, you know, and I saw many stylists that have burned out even just over the few years of being in the industry, you know, um, they, they'll, 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 they'll just burn out. Hey, T. Michael, you're not too late. 
right on time. I said I was gonna shut it down at eleven. I'm 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 preaching right now. I'm speaking to somebody. I don't know who it's for, but you you have to find something. And my thing, or or some things, I would say, my my thing is um, you guys because you guys are passionate about being taught. Um, some of some stylists that follow me. They're passionate and they want to stay in the industry and they need that inspiration. And so I, I thank God that I have been able to be that inspiration to help um, with them staying in it um, and, and staying with it. Um, for me, I have I love going to classes, learning more. I love surrounding myself with like minded people in order to be successful. You have to surround yourself with like minded people. Will those people always be in the same industry that you're in? No, they won't. You know, um, you have to pray to God or to your God, whoever you believe in. Um, I pray to God, um, the father, the one that I believe in and ask him to surround me around right minded and like minded people that want to be better at their craft, be better at what they do, no matter what it is. If there's someone that's in business and they want to be better at business, surround me around those people because I, at the end of the day, I have a business. So I need to be surrounded by those people so I can hear them talk business. So I don't know how to run my business or I don't know how or who I I need to go to and who he is subjecting me to at that moment to um, learn what it is that I need to do or help me do what it is that I need to do. You know, um, so these are things that you have to do as a person in this industry, just an artistic person person, we, we see things very differently. We run off of very different vibes. A lot of the times we run off the vibes of people because, um, and, and we run, run off, uh, we run off a lot of stuff. Artistic people is just, so this whole cosmetic art thing, it can be very hard at times and it can make you want to pull away. Transparent moment. Okay. I'm going to be transparent. Honey B say four minutes. I might go past four minutes. You know, I might, might go past just a little bit. Y'all say y'all can y'all go on and say keep on past. <laughs> Honey B, you count me down. <laughs> you count me down. Uh, uh, uh. So um I have to say this is a transparent moment for me to you. I have thought throughout this whole thing that's been going on, um, with what we're going through about shutting my salon down. And it had nothing to do with me not thinking that I couldn't make it. It was all because I was going through um, mentally something that I have always told you guys that I have um, been struggling with. And I don't count it as a struggle um, anymore because I go and seek help and I seek counsel um, for it. And, um, Sharice said you can't rush, to, you rush the word. <laughs> I, I go seek help and I go seek counsel and I pray. And you guys have to understand it goes beyond the four walls of the church. It goes beyond church. Um, it goes sometimes beyond your ministers and your pastors. You need to go and seek counsel elsewhere. I go to a psychiatrist and I'm not afraid to say that. I go to counselors. I'm not afraid to say that, you know, because I realized I was in the church hurting. And so with me dealing with what I go through, I have to find certain things that trigger me. And there have been things things throughout this whole thing that's been going on that has been triggering my anxiety and my depression. But then I also have to find the things that trigger me back into the right place. And I have to say with being on here with you guys, talking to you guys, seeing the testimonies of you all, just seeing the encouraging words, those are triggers to get me back into the right mind frame. And people don't realize, and I'm, I'm about to start reading this book called um, Relational Intelligence. People don't realize how much people need people. They don't realize that. You, you, people, and, and a lot of people say, I can do this by myself. I can do this on my own. I don't need nobody. No, we need somebody. You need somebody, whether it's one person. You need somebody physically 
You know, people say, I don't need nobody because I got God and he's going to do it. You need somebody. He did not mean for us to be alone. Okay. You know, he did not mean for us to be alone. That doesn't mean that that has to be a companion. You know, it doesn't mean that it has to be a uh, best friend. You know, it doesn't mean that it has to be your sister, your brother, your auntie, because sometimes we know those are the farthest ones away from us. But people need people, you know, at the end of the day. And I realize that what triggers me into my anxiety and my depression, sometimes I have to find the things that trigger me out of it. And you guys are, are that thing. Hair is that thing. Me educating is that thing. It brings me back to a place and pulls me back into perspective and back into my purpose of where I'm supposed to be and where I fit in in the world. I don't know who that was for just now. And I I thank God because I know I know 75% of it was for me. But <laughs> And it's 11 (laughs) o'clock. It's 11 o'clock, honey bee. Ashley, heaven father. Everybody on this live. Let me read this. Heavenly father, I pray Chris and family and everybody on live. Get us all strength. Take it one day at a time. Lord, watch over Chris and family and everyone like. Praying for everyone I love. I love all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Ashley, thank you so much for that prayer. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Renee, it was for, it was for, for you all. I'm, I'm just, I'm a vessel in this, in this iron shoppers. Iron. Big boy. Big boy. You here? Listen, I got to do this. I'm using my, um. I am using my light. Just thought I'd let you know that. I don't have my big light on. I have I have the one that was sent to me. <laughs> Come on through here. I have the one that was sent to me. So I'm using my light. It works fine. Yes. Team Michael, thank you so much. You guys make my day. You really do. I mean, just from the lady getting on here and just sending me the $9, I mean, makes my day. Just y'all going and purchasing products, it makes my day. Again, we need people, and, and, and you guys do it for me. I really got on this live in a very depressed manner. I was, I was, I was depressed when I got on here, but look how, just, just look what God can do, and I'm not going to sit here and say that everything that I was thinking about, I'm still thinking about it, but I'm thinking about it in a totally different way and knowing that I have people praying for me. Thank you so much, you guys. Yes, we all have to love each other, especially nowadays. We got to just really love on each other. So I got to see out, see what these products that we're out of so that i can make sure that i have them in stock this weekend god is good yes renee god is always good always good like always so you guys um i am doing a product sale or i shouldn't say product sale a promo code for products i'm doing a a memorial day weekend sale um what was I going to say? The promo code, if you're purchasing product, is um, BOGO25. If there is something that is up on the site that says it is out of stock, I'm about to do my inventory so that way I can order tomorrow um, and have that for you guys on tomorrow. Um, and so then I'll have it back on on the website tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I ain't got to y'all get me on here and get me to preach it. <laughs> but we do. We thank God for the word because it is the word that keeps us. And I promise you, you have to you have to embed it. I'm not going to say I'm a walking Bible, but when you keep it 
on the inside and somewhere deep in your heart. Um, word says, thy word have I hid in my heart. You know, um, sometimes we hide it and we have to go and find it, you know, but um, his word will never return void. And so I believe that his word keeps us. Thank you, honeybee. I thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for everything. Um, I bless God for your lives. I bless God for your health, your strength. Um, um, big boy, it's going to last probably to Monday, Monday at midnight. I'll probably do it Monday at midnight because some things sold out tonight. So I'll probably do um, um, Memorial Day Monday at midnight. So I'll probably do Monday, Mo Monday at midnight it'll last because I have some um, other stuff that I need to, to get. So, yeah. But um, I bless God for your lives. Um, Naya say I ordered two products except for the shampoo and the conditioner. And y'all said I was out. I'm about to go. I'm about to do my inventory real quick so that way I can have this stuff in stock um, that you guys need. And make sure y'all have it. And I'm also about to um, package up these orders that I got. Because I got some orders tonight because y'all are amazing. And again, if you are looking for a new wig that's been cut and colored by So Stylistic, um, and again, she's looking a little rough right now. I didn't do anything to her, but this is her, her natural, state, natural state after it has fallen. Um, but yeah, I'm selling her. So if you want to, and again, I just layered around the face area, but I kept her length in the back. So she has slight layers. So again, thank you, honey bee, so much. You say you bought the foam and the moisture lock. Okay. And I'm gonna have your shampoo. I will have, I'm about to do my list right now, so I know what I need to pick up tomorrow. Oh my god, I hear me no. <laughs> Yo, don't be making me um blush. You said my sister says I'm gonna tell your sister I love her. I love her, love her, love her. I love all of y'all. I like to have some of the curl cream and the other that I mentioned that works well with it. Um, so the curl cream and the gel depends, Renee. If you're doing like a, a, a twist set, what I do is I normally use the um, honey foam, um, the organic. Uh, styling gel and the curl defining cream. I normally marry those three together um, because it gives me a whole. Now, if you want a tad bit of a more anti-humidity hole, then the coconut um, uh, foam is good as well, um, and you don't need a lot of it. But it just it just depends on what you're doing. But I'm gonna I'm about to do my inventory. Y'all gonna make me do inventory tonight. <laughs> Curl cream, shampoo, and conditioner are sold out. Boom! So <laughs> that's what you have. You have that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. So you guys, I will go on live tomorrow. Um, you sent the promo to IG. Thank you, Anagato. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for everything. How much is the doll? You mean the wig? Cause the the head is the head is mine, but the wig is the wig is on sale for one fifty. <laughs> She's twenty four inches, uh, deep wave. I didn't make her. Okay, so I want to put that out there. Um, yes, DM me on IG. But yeah, the the, the doll. But I did color her and layered her front. And so if you go on, y'all make sure y'all go check out my TikTok so y'all can get a laugh out of it. But if you go on um, TikTok and look at the video that I did of Lowdown Dirty Shame, that's Tina. The wig is what I named her. Tina. <laughs> Tina. Oh, thank you, Anagato. Hit me up on IG, you guys. And um, if you have any questions, um, again, I'm going to put this here. 
that's my work number. You guys can text me there if there are um, any special requests that you need as far as like product. Um, hit me up. So I'll know, like, if there's something that you've seen on the website that's not up there, other than chemicals, because I would have to know that you're a stylist in order to be able to do that. Not, I probably don't want to get into selling chemicals to anybody. Um, I'll leave that to them. Um, my name on TikTok is So Stylistic. That's my TikTok name. So y'all go find me on um, on TikTok. Now, there are some TikToks up there that's got a little bit cussing in them, okay? But it wasn't my voice. That was voiceovers, you know, lip syncing. But I thought that was funny. So when you go to my TikTok, don't go over there being all deep and stuff because y'all know I keep it real. I keep it real. <laughs> but it's some funny TikToks up there just to make you laugh. Do I sell flat irons? Big boy, I don't sell flat irons at the moment. I am trying to or have been trying to figure out how I can have my own flat iron line, you know. Um, so I'm working on that. So um, that's going to be something that I work on very, very soon. Thank you, T. Michael. Thank you so much. Um, but yes, uh, so I've been looking into it. It's going to take some investment and y'all know we're, we're going to pray on that together. But I can suggest some flat irons to you. Honeybee, so you're interested in the shampoo. Which shampoo, honeybee? Make sure y'all leave me a review on my website. Oh, no, not that. The honey and almond. Yeah, I think I'm going to order a couple of those because I don't normally order too much. Oh, the promo code is BOGO25. B-O-G-O-25 is the promo code for this weekend. Yes, y'all own it. Don't forget, you can pre-order your So Stylistic t-shirt. If the size is not up there, text me or leave me a message. You say you got your things mixed up. Honey, love what you get mixed up. I won't, I won't leave until you got it right. But yes, you can go and pre-order your t-shirts. I got to buy those three products and I'll be good. Naya, I will have those going to do that now. Gonna do that now. I'm gonna do that now. Yes. Promo code BOGO25. If you have purchased product from me and You've already purchased product from me and you received your thank you so much for your order um, card. Um, and it has a product code on it of thank you 10. I don't know if you can use the product codes together. I need to find that out, um, but I'm going to work on that as well. I think that you can. If you can, by all means, go for it. Because it's yours, or if you want to save it for another time. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Well, we're going to pray that Grandma get here. She ain't died, did she? <laughs> I'm not going to leave. All right, you guys. I'm going to get up out of here, too. It's 11 13. I love you guys so much. Y'all look out for me tomorrow, probably around the same time. Um, curl cream shampoo. Curl cream shampoo. Okay. <laughs> Is your bicep? <laughs> I got you. Um, look for me tomorrow. Um, same time. Make sure y'all hit the ring of notification so y'all know every time I go live or upload a video. But right now I'm going live. So make sure you hit the ring of notification so you'll see it pop up. Lord, we praying for grandma. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, if I don't by chance go live tomorrow because something comes up. Check the website tomorrow um, evening. 
um, the product should be uploaded by then. Okay. I love you guys so much. Um, I pray you guys have a restful night and you guys get um, much sleep. Again, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Y'all have a great night. You got the number, you got the website, you got the IG and the TikTok. Use it. Okay. Just don't call me y'all because I don't, re I don't really answer the phone. Okay. I don't really, I just, God, working on me. Okay. But you can text me. Text me. And if you got an iPhone, I will voice message you back. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to go package up these um, items that you guys have purchased so y'all can have y'all stuff. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Love y'all. Have a good night.